When we were expecting the birth of our first daughter, Nicole, I considered myself a responsible citizen. I researched my health insurance, picked the hospital closest to my home, met the doctor ahead of time. I was calm. I thought I had it all under control. And I was in for a major, major surprise. Besides the usual, the crying baby, the naps, the feedings, it took me a year after our daughter was born to sort out the billing situation with myriad of healthcare organizations I never knew existed. The night my daughter was born, there were only two people in the room beside their family, the doctor and the nurse in charge. But there must have been plenty of ghosts in that room as well, and each of them sent me a bill. That's when I realized that the modern health care system in America became a jungle, a jungle of intermediaries. The problem is our life is full of intermediaries, brokers, agents, third parties. A crazy thing is that organizations we've never met, never knew that they exist, they cost us time and money on a daily basis. Another crazy thing is that the purpose those organizations exist is to make our life easier. And oftentimes they start that way. Healthcare and management organizations, HMOs, started out in the mid-90s with a noble purpose in mind, to let doctors focus on patients and HMOs focus on efficiency. However, very quickly, profits replaced efficiency. Profits became primary and patients became secondary at best. As I was walking through envelopes after envelopes of statements, bills, collection letters, notices, I learned more about the healthcare system than I thought I ever wanted to. And I grew up in an immigrant family in New York City. I don't give up easily. So ultimately, it all worked out. I solved the issues, I paid what I owed, and I moved on. But that experience made me dig deeper of why this is happening to us, why those intermediaries are showing up. And I realized that it's not that the doctors are evil or they want to drive their patients insane. <laughs> those intermediaries appear because they solve a major problem in society, the problem of trust. When we don't trust each other to transact directly, we come up with institutions that are supposed to help us do so. We engage escrow agents when buying or selling a home. We pay premiums to insurance brokers to ensure that our doctors get paid. But from a time you go to a doctor to a time when the doctor collects a paycheck, your hard-earned money goes through so many levels of sticky hands that the cost of healthcare skyrockets. Unfortunately, in America, we have the unique experience of running one of the most complex, expensive, and inefficient healthcare organizations in the world. But there is hope. There is hope that technology is able to restore trust and allow people to transact directly. Blockchain technology, in particular, is a distributed, open source, decentralized network that can be owned by its consumers. Imagine Wikipedia owned by its contributors, or Uber owned by drivers and passengers alike, without a massive corporation in the middle. Smart contracts are software that's able to execute the payment and billing cycle with no human interaction. Cryptocurrencies are forms of electronic money that could be sent across borders, at a fraction of a cost of a typical bank wire. I imagine a future when my daughter is ready to have her own children, when the experience of paying for childcare, now not raising a child, that's very difficult, as I learned by raising two uh, together, together with my wife, but the experience of paying for healthcare becomes as transparent, as simple as shopping at a grocery store. I imagine a future when my daughter walks into a doctor's office, 
pays only those who provide services and pays them in an instantaneous and transparent manner. The birth of my daughter five years ago made me confront the problems of modern healthcare. I believe that blockchain technology has potential to restore trust and do away with intermediaries. David can defeat the corporate Goliath once and for all with the help of technology.